Okay, may I request everyone to please stand and may I request Jason to lead our prayer this afternoon. Let us bow down our heads and put ourselves in the presence of God. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Almighty in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given to us. We thank you for the knowledge, for the protection, and for the good of glory. Lord, we are very sorry for all our sins, for all our shortcomings. As we forgive those who sinned against us. Lord, please continue to guide us, cover us with your most precious blood, and as we start our lesson this afternoon, let's enlighten our minds, our spirit is ready. This is all we ask that you just need pray. Okay, thank you. So, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. Peace, peace be with you. you. Okay, peace be with you. Sit down. Thank okay. you, ma'am. You're welcome. So, how are you today? We're fine. Okay, you're fine. Very good. So, who is absent? Birthday. Mr. Farofaldan is absent, ma'am. Okay, no that, Mr. Farofaldan is absent for today. And the rest, present, very good. So you give yourselves three claps, everybody. Okay, thank you. So, who among you here can recall our topic yesterday? Ma'am, yes, Miss Michelle. Our topic yesterday was about elements of poetry. Okay, very good. Elements of poetry. So, you were able to remember our topic yesterday, and now we have our new topic. But before that, I am going to uh, present to you our objectives for today. So, we have three objectives. I want you to read letter A. Ready? Start. We can discuss the parable of the rainbow colors. Number two. We suffer through Philippine literature, the need to work cooperatively and responsibly in today's global village. And the last one. Perform the small group differentiated activities. Very good. So we are going to finish these three objectives at the end of our uh, session. So with that, I also prepared a PowerPoint presentation for you. So I have here two pictures. Uh, I want you to say something or share something. What have you noticed with these pictures that I flash on the TV or I posted on the board? Yes, Jason. Um, I can see on the picture, ma'am, the different designs of our tribal group, especially on the textile. The different shapes, geometrically, and of course, the different colors applied in the textile being presented. Okay, very good, Jason. Another idea, Joy? <laughs> okay, ma'am, I can see at the picture that there is different colors. Okay, there are different colors. Can you enumerate, Miss uh, Sheryl? What are those colors? The colors that are found in the pictures are red, yellow, orange, blue, green, gold, violet, white, black. That's all now. Very good. So you were able to enumerate the different colors that we have. And of course, it is said that According to Mr. Jason, it is our traditional malong. No? So, it could be the malong of uh, Tiboli or Amaranawan. Or it is also called a tube skirt. So, it is said that a tube skirt made of hand woven or machine made, multicolored cotton cloth bearing a variety of geometric or uh, original designs. So, the pattern or style of the malong may indicate the weaver's tribal origin. So thank you so much, students. Since uh, you were able to guess what are those colors no, in the malong, I want you to stand up and we will have our a little bit of energizer for this afternoon. Everybody, stand up. So I want you to follow Mr. Jack Hartman. Everybody! Green, make your body 
on the side. Okay, touch your shoe. Can you dance? The parable of rainbow colors. Have you read the story last night? As yes. I told you? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, very good. Do you have any idea what is a parable? None? So I want you to read what is parable. Who can read? Jerry? Can you read the definition of a parable? Parable, it is a succinct, didactic story in the prose of verse which illustrates one or more instructive lesson or principles. Okay, thank you so much, Jerry. When we say succinct, it is especially of something written or spoken briefly and clearly expressed. While didactic, it is intended to teach, particularly in having moral instruction. So at the end of the uh, reading session, you are able to learn something out of it. No? It is something, a moral lesson that you can get from the story. Let's assume. Since you were able to finish uh, reading the story, the parable of rainbow colors, uh, since we are practicing the physical distancing because of the pandemic that we are uh, facing, I want you to answer the following questions and you're going to post it on the board after you answer. Okay? Okay, are you done answering the questions given to you? Yes! yes no. So you get your sketch tape here and you post it on the board. So kindly post it uh, from number one to number five. Okay, can you start here? Three, four, five. On this side, you post it on this side. Four. Okay. Okay, very good. So for question number one, no, if you were one of the colors, what would you be and why? So we share will answer yellow because it lights up the world. And that is true. I Very good. Like Number two question. Can you read everybody? Why, Why do you think rain, rain emphasizes the need of cooperation? Okay. Why do you think rain emphasizes the need of cooperation? So uh, who answered for number two? Uh -huh. Okay, Miss Verde. Because for all the colors to have unity in giving joy to the world. Okay? Uh, that is a good idea. Number three, can you read the question? What do you feel when you see, see a rainbow? rainbow? Okay, when I see a rainbow, I feel happy and excited. I was amazed at the different colors I have seen. Very good, joy. And number four, how, how do you encourage others to cooperate in societal activities? activities? Okay, first, make them a part of the activities. Second, be a good role model to the people within the community, and that is true. Huh? And last one, explain there's a rainbow after the rain. And Jerry answered, rainbow represents the success of every person. There's somehow when we say um, in this quote or quotation, there's a rainbow after the rain. Uh, rain represents challenges no, in life. And if there will be a rainbow no, that will show up, that means there is a hope or another day for us another blessing okay thank you so much again you give yourselves a barangay clap very good and now uh, i want you to show the different uh, things or animals from the different colors so we have red so we have this flowers bugs hat orange okay what can you see a tiger 
Tiger. Flower. My friend. Orange. Happy orange. Yellow. Sunflower. Oh, sunflower. sunflower. Blue and purple. Yes. 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 Very good. How about green? Snake. Very good, Rob. student. Rob. Yes. Rob. yes. Blue. An ocean. An ocean. The moon. Very good. Indigo. Blueberry. Blueberry. Okay. So I guess our flowers. Okay. How about purple or the violet? Grace. Grace. Okay, grace. Lavender. So uh, you were able to identify now the different colors in different things, animals, and things. So, but before that, to deepen your understanding, I have a question to you. On your own understanding, what is a parable again? Yes, this one? A parable ma'am, is a story that um, gives you a moral lesson. Okay, very good. A story that gives you a moral yes. lesson. Uh, how about... Uh, how important the rainbow colors in our life? Yes, Jerry? You want to share? How important? So, rainbow and uh, rainbow colors give us a hope for our uh, life. Okay, thank you so much for that uh, brilliant idea. Okay. Now, last question. What are the colors that was being mentioned in this story, the parable of rainbow colors? First, red, red. orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, yellow. Okay, very good class. You were able to identify the seven colors of the rainbow. Okay, very good. For the next activity, you are going to have a small group differentiated activities. I have here a group brief in group activities. Uh, five shows eagerness and cooperation to do the task, participation actively, do great help to the group. Four, show eagerness and cooperation to do tasks, good followers only. Three, participated but late with teacher's supervision. Two, actively was done but does not show eagerness to participate or cooperate and one no interest in participating activities so here's a thing the three of you will be the group one and the two of you will be the second group so for the first group the girls you're going to draw a symbol that represents a message of a text and explain no? about the theme of the story about the theme of the story and uh, the two of you will come up a two stanza point that greatly emphasizes the cooperation and responsibility in the story. Okay? Are you ready? Yes, yes ma'am! Ma okay, you go to your respective groups. Okay, while doing your students, you listen. Class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, class. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Okay. While doing the activity, I want you to observe physical distancing. Okay? Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Oh, very good. So, who will be the first group to present? Group one. Okay, group one, the girls department. Okay, please be at the center. Okay. So our task is about, we will have, we have to share our thoughts about the theme of the story and draw a symbol that it represents the message of the text and explain. So we think the theme of the story is about hope and what we draw are candle and sun because candle and sun represents hope for us. Um... They represent hope because when there is when there is sun or there is light, there is always a hope to face another day. That's all. Okay, that's all. Now let's give them. Do you know what is Jenny's clap? Yeah. Okay, ready and ready one. claps. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, very good, girls. Keep 
department. And now, for the second group, please be at the center. <laughs> okay, so our task is, they will come up at two stands of point that greatly emphasizes the cooperation and responsibility in the story. So here we go. I'm so excited to start. I am the brightest, for red is the most striking, life-sustaining, blood in red color. Color represent courage and hope. Even love symbols such as heart and roses are colored. Wow, we talked about the love. Very good voice department. So you did a great job, everyone. So uh, again, let's give them five claps. Okay, so that ends our activity and this time you will be having your assessment. Okay, and now uh, what you're going to do is, Cheryl, can we arrange your chair, please? Okay. Sorry, Mom. Okay, very good. So what you're going to do now is, you're going to explain and analyze how does the rainbow's qualities related to yourself with the use of graphic organizer that I have here on the board. And of course, you're going to refer to your book if you have, and that is on page 400. 66. So on this side, these are the colors that was being uh, discussed earlier. And on this side, we're going to uh, analyze and explain how does the rainbow's qualities related to your subject. Like for example, red. Then you put your answer on this side. And so on and so forth. Any questions? No, ma'am. Okay, none. So, I will give you eight minutes to finish and write it in your activity notebook. Are you done? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, pass your paper forward. Okay. Okay, very good. So, I hope that you were able to get some information about the story. No? Again, what is the title of our story? The Battle of the Rainbow, Rainbow Colors. Okay, very good. For your assignment, I want you to read in advance about our topic, preposition. So, please read what is it all about and the examples. And see you next meeting. Goodbye and be safe, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Thank you for teaching us.